The Bay Area has changed a lot over the past 100 years, but not around Point Reyes. The area looks similar to when Bob Giacomini's grandfather opened a dairy farm in Petaluma around 1900. Had about 10 cows and raised six kids. One of those kids, Bob's father Waldo, started his own dairy farm in Point Reyes in 1938. Bob followed in the family business by opening his own dairy farm on a hill overlooking Tomales Bay in 1959. In the 62 years that I've been here, we've produced four daughters and increased the herd of cows from 120 into about 450. Four daughters, Karen, Diana, Lynn, and Jill, who didn't plan to work on the farm. They all moved away to pursue business careers. But in the mid-90s, Bob called his daughters back for a family meeting. We got them to come home one day and sit around the table and say, hey, if you want to keep the farm and the family, somebody's going to have to step up. Bob didn't want to keep selling his milk to distributors. He and his wife had a dream to create something they could call their own. They needed some help to be able to make that dream a reality. Bob's daughters joined him in the family business and started Point Reyes Farmstead Cheese Company. In the first nine years, we only made one product, our Point Reyes Original Blue. Over time, they expanded. They opened a creamery in Petaluma and began making other cheeses, a Gouda that's aged 18 months and a Toma. Toma is our everyday cheese. It's something you can cook with. It melts great. It's a great snacking cheese. There are about 17,000 Tomas in this room. A robot runs day and night, turning and brushing them all. About 85 employees worked the farm and made the cheese. Business was booming. Then COVID came. It certainly hit our business because about 50% of all the cheese that we make goes to restaurants and it goes to hotels. All that business just halted. We had to make some really tough decisions and lay off some of our employees and we were selling some milk, we were selling some cows, all in an effort to reduce our production. The fork, unfortunately, is another casualty. Pre-COVID, we would run anywhere from 10 to 15 events here a week. We had to shut down because we weren't allowed to have visitors here on the farm. The silver lining of COVID is that we found a real purpose also for feeding people that didn't have the money to get food. It began with the Farmers to Families Food Box. The federal government program buys farm products and gives them to food banks. After that, the Jacominis worked with the Wells Fargo Foundation to donate cheese to food banks. That inspired them to try their own food drive. We told all of our cheese fans out there that if you buy a wedge of cheese from us, we will make sure that we will donate um, the equal amount of cheese direct to a local area food bank. Through the campaign, Point Reyes Farmstead Cheese Company donated 3,000 pounds of cheese to Redwood Empire Food Bank. This is going to be very helpful in distributing and, you know, making our food boxes a little bit more exciting with some cheese. Producing cheese for donation has also allowed the family to rehire some workers. Food is our business, food is part of our hearts, it's part of our family, and we're just happy to be able to do this. And hopefully we can continue to serve the food banks and maybe even someday make a cheese specifically for them. Over my lifetime, there's been a lot of ups and downs, and I don't know what the next corner is going to bring us, but probably bring us another cheese. Ama Dates, ABC 7 News.